please enjoy this amazing inspirational animation, watch to the end, and remember to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment. Also remember to turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified, whenever I upload new content. Be blessed. Beauty, my family and I are so sorry about the passing of your husband. But he really suffered before he died. All the pain that he went through. Yes sir. It was rough, and I do not know how I would have gotten through this if it wasn't for you and your family. You have never said no to me. Each time I came with one financial need or another, you were there to assist. That is how brothers and sisters in Christ should live. Hebrews 13.16 admonishes us to do good and share with others. Be generous and willing to help those who are in need. It also says that it is what God would love. So I am doing what the Bible commands us to do. Thank you. I am so grateful. But this is the last money my wife and I will be giving to you. We believe that there is a better way to assist, instead of giving you money all the time. How sir? And what might that be? After much discussion with my wife, we have decided to give you a job here at the diner. As you can see, it gets pretty crowded and busy here, as a matter of fact, the customers will start rolling in any minute from now. So since you have nothing doing at the moment, we have decided to give you a job. We will be paying you $1,500 every two weeks. At least that way, you can take better care of yourself, and do the things you love. Remember your husband is no longer with us, and you need to live. But sir, I have never worked before, I do not know if I will do a good job. I knew that you were going to say that. But there is a first for everything. Once you start, very soon everything will become easy. Besides, you will not be alone. I will be here. But I just need an extra hand. So are you accepting the offer? Yes sir. Maybe this is a good opportunity to go back to school, and even start a little business, pay my rent and other stuff. Now that is the spirit. You may start immediately. Right now brother Joel? Yes, unless you have something else to do or another place to go. Sir you know I have nowhere else to go. When my husband was here, he provided everything. I am so sorry sister. But you can start by helping me to pack away those plates and glasses on the tables. I will. But why is your son refusing to settle down? I have no idea. At 43, he has everything. He has bought a lovely house, he owns a car, and he is gainfully employed at Acropolis Engineering Firm, so he has more than enough to take care of a family. So have you told him all these things? Listen, Joel and I are tired of talking to that boy. He takes everything for a joke, and I am not happy about it. Then you need to apply more pressure on him. Time is going, and if he was my son, I wouldn't have given him a break. Honestly, I do not want to chase him away. But he will be visiting this weekend. So my husband and I will definitely have another talk with him. I think that is a wonderful idea, because he needs to understand the seriousness of this issue now. Anyway, I think my lunchtime is about to end. I know. Matron, thank you for coming. Anytime. See you soon. Later, my friend. Why isn't he here yet? Finally. What kept you for so long? I have been waiting for almost two hours. I am very sorry, my dear. I just got held up in traffic. But you could have called. I tried, but there was no signal. I understand. But... Do you think your parents will accept or approve of me? You worry too much. We need to head out now, at least if we start our drive, we will get there early tomorrow morning. Sir, I am ready to leave now. It is very late. Please allow me to drop you home, and whenever you work extra hours like this, 
I will definitely take you home. Allow me to inform my wife. Okay, sir. Where is he says? Sir, he said he was going to visit some of his childhood friends. Good, that gives us a chance to really get to know each other. Yes, my son says, you are the lady he would like to marry. And we are so excited. It took him a very long time before he made his decision, so you must be very special to him. I am trying my best, sir. Abigail, please tell me some more about yourself. Your face looks very familiar. No, ma'am. I do not think we have ever met. I have seen you before, Abigail, in our hospital several years back. I am not so sure of what you are saying. You must be mistaking me for someone else. Chantal, stop grilling the poor young lady. You are always coming up with something. Welcome to our family, Abigail. We are happy that our son chose you to be his wife. He is our only child. My wife and I struggled to have children, and to make matters worse, because of the nature of my job, I was hardly at home. So Isaias is our miracle child. He came after we gave up all chances of having children. I understand, sir, and I promise to be that woman who is described in Proverbs 31. Hello, Sister Chantal. Is Brother Joel close by? I was wondering if I could speak with him. Joel, that was beauty. She said she wanted to talk with you, but why has she started calling so frequently? And she now calls at odd hours. Are you treating her well at the diner? I have no idea what the problem is, but I will find out tomorrow. Okay, please take care of it so that she does not have to call so frequently. But as for you, Abigail, I never forget a face. It will come to me very soon. Okay, ma'am. It says, there is something that I need to tell you. I have been trying to tell you, but you are always so busy. I need to tell you about my past. I do not want to hear about it, Abigail. Allow your past to remain where it is. Our wedding is fast approaching so we have other things to do and talk about now. But you need to know. No, now allow us to go back inside and spend the last evening with my parents. Beauty, what is the problem? Why were you calling my house? It wasn't intentional, but I had no one else to call. There is a problem. What is the problem? I am pregnant. Pregnant? And who is the father? Is it your late husband? No, sir. You are the father. You do remember one of those late nights when you dropped me home, right? Me? Are you saying, I am the father? Yes. This news has blown my mind. This cannot be. It was just a moment of weakness, and we protected ourselves. I know. But I guess the protection failed. We have to decide quickly on what to do, but an abortion is not an option. I know what we will do. You will carry the pregnancy, but never disclose that I am the father. The news could destroy my family and church. You will continue to work, and I will offer my little support. No one will suspect anything because you are like family to us. But sir, what we have done is very bad. And many people could get hurt. That includes me. I do not want Miss Chantel to hate me. Jesus, this was not my intention. I have failed you, Lord. I messed up. Can you ever forgive me? Abigail, you have got to stop this. I cannot continue to treat you each time after you have done such a horrible thing. And now, this last one appears to have damaged parts of your womb. That was not my intention, but a girl has to survive out there. I must complete my degree, and the side jobs do not give me enough money to pay my fees and feed myself. I am not as fortunate as other students. My parents cannot afford to give me money either. From the little that I earn, 
I send money back home for them. But it cannot continue like this. Allow me to help you. There are financial institutions that will provide scholarships for the remaining years of college. That way you can stop living this reckless life. You can help me? Yes. I can. It is my duty to ensure that you do not destroy yourself any further. So that was where I met this girl. In my office. No way, my son cannot marry Abigail at all. She has done too much, and may be a liability to us? No, I cannot allow this to happen. I have made up my mind, Mom. I will marry Abigail, and I do not care if she has had ten abortions. She is the woman that I love. Yes, her womb may be damaged, but I do not care. God can work miracles. I met her as a Christian mom, and not the Abigail you met several years ago. She was a child, misguided and without any support. She made bad choices, but show me the person who has never made a bad decision. I cannot hold it against her. You cannot marry her. And my decision is final. I will not allow you to destroy your life. Where is your faith, mom? I love her, and I am going to marry her. If we cannot have children, we will adopt. No. No, Isaiah, I will not allow that to happen. Mommy, we are leaving now and I will see Dad on my way out. Why did you hide something so very important from me, Abigail? I did not. I have been trying to tell you all along. I lived a messed up life when I was in university. I would visit your mom's office after I committed an abortion and needed treatment. I couldn't afford to pay a qualified doctor, so I would find the ones I could afford. The last one really damaged my wing, and your mother helped me so that I wouldn't have to continue with the life that I was living. I needed to complete my degree, and I vowed to do it by any means necessary. Even at the expense of your body, your health and future? Yes. I had no one to guide me, and my poor parents were looking to me for assistance, I had to do something. So I did my little part-time job, and I entertained men for the remaining portion. At that time, how could I have known that she was your mother? We hadn't even met yet, in fact, I did not know that I was going to marry you or anyone else. I just needed to survive. So you must have picked up several sexually transmitted infections along the way? Yes. Thank God, we had decided to wait until we were married before intimacy. You learned from my father that I am their only child, so as of now, I think we should put everything on hold. I need some time to think, at least to know if this is really what I want. But, I overheard your conversation with you mom before we left the house. Based on what you're saying to me now, that means you lied. Anyway, I understand and I cannot say that I blame you. Thank you for even considering to marry me. I have a horrid past, and I knew very soon, this day would come. I must clean down all these tables now. Ahem. I am so happy to see you Sister Chantel. It has been so long. Yes. Over four months now. You are pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Just a moment of weakness after my husband died. I got lonely. But you shouldn't have. Firstly, it is a sin, and it is too soon after your husband. What will people say? Anyway, who is the father? Beauty, I think you need to get back to work now. Honey. But you did not inform me that you were coming. So do I need to inform my husband that I am coming to assist him at the shop. Anyway, let me go and change my clothes, but Joel, Beauty is pregnant. How could she start messing around so soon? Stop being so judgmental, Chantal. I have warned you so many times about this. Okay. But we must have that conversation about Isaiah's and that girl, he cannot marry her. There you go again.
Despite everything that you found out, I know that you are shocked, hurt and you are thinking going through with the marriage would be a very bad mistake. Right? Yes, Pastor. I love her so much, and to be fair to her, she was trying to tell me about it. I was the one who kept on putting her off. But now that I know, I am scared to follow through with the marriage. I have an idea. I would like to see you and Abigail in three days. I am recommending that both of you go for a thorough medical checkup before we do anything else. After we receive the results, then we can make the decision on how to proceed with your relationship. That sounds like a good idea, Pastor. I will take her with me for the next visit. That sounds wonderful. I must also add that if you decide to go through with the wedding, both of you will need counseling before and after you are married. But deep in my heart brother eyes is, I know that sister Abigail is a changed person, she has been such a devoted Christian. She has given herself to the church and her job, so when I saw you expressing interest in her, I was pleased. And the union, gave me peace. Even with this new development of her past, I still believe that she is the woman God has given to you. She may have scars, but show me a person without scars, and I would say they are lying. I have thought about that too. In Hosea chapter 1 verse 2, God told Hosea to go and take your wife of Hordim, and have children of Hordim. The scripture also said that Hosea obeyed, and married a woman named Gomer, who was unfaithful to him. Each time she was unfaithful, Jesus told Hosea to go and fetch her. Can you even imagine how doing that every time, must have made Hosea to feel? Could you even stand the embarrassment? But God is a reason for everything. He wanted to show to the world the relationship between him and Israel. That relationship was broken and we know all the horrible sins the people of Israel committed. But did he give up on them? No God did not. He forgave and showed them mercy each time. So he used Hosea and Gomer's story, to show that we are all sinful people, but if God can forgive, we all should aspire to do the same. There is no perfect person on the face of this earth. Many are walking around with terrible secrets. But who are we to condemn them? And as for Abigail, at least you now know everything about her. She had a rough life my dear brother. But, let me ask you, have you done things that you were not proud of? Yes sir. Have you shared them with her? No sir. So with all that, can you safely say that you are any better than her? I guess you are correct sir. Go home, think about what I have said, and whenever you are comfortable. Tell her about your past. Yes sir. And both of you should be here in three days. I need to act very fast. Miss Chantel has been visiting the diner very frequently these last few days, and she is asking uncomfortable questions. I am feeling so guilty to be pregnant for her husband. But it was a mistake, and I never want a repeat of it. I have saved up enough money from working and what brother Joel gives to me, so I am going to leave. I need to go to another town and start a new life, because at this rate, I do not think I will be able to find another man to marry me. This lady again. She's always walking and talking to herself. I wonder if she needs help. Sometimes she looks so troubled and tired. She's even heavily pregnant. I could have this baby any time now. I probably need to leave before I take in. I tried so hard to catch up with you. May I be of assistance to you? Honestly, you do not need my trouble. As I am walking like this, I am a whole bag of mistakes and misfortune, and you do not need that kind of vibes around you. But you do not know what I can handle? Besides, I would like to get to know you. I see you every day at this time, walking and talking to yourself. And I am curious, and with your condition, I think you are doing too much. It seems you need a friend. 
Please allow me to be your friend. Maybe you could talk to me instead of talking to yourself? Have you seen or heard from Beauty? It is going close to a month, and she has not showed up at the diner. I was about to ask you the same thing. Is he the father? No. I am not a biological father. I am afraid there was some complications during delivery. Both you and the baby lost a huge amount of blood and we need to do blood transfusion if we are to save both your lives. So what are we waiting for? Take mine, do everything possible to save them. Please. Okay then, please come with me. We will need to test the blood to make sure there is a match. Doctor, I am scared. Do not worry, I will do my best to save you and the baby. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Come this way, sir. Sin is very bad. Why can't you just leave those children alone? So what if Abigail had a tainted past? Are you perfect? Joel, are you saying that I must allow our only son to marry a woman who might not be able to give him children? Well, they are working things out with Pastor, so leave them alone and pay attention to what is going on in your house. I can't stand you and your judgmental attitude, always thinking you are the most perfect Christian that ever lived. Beauty is missing, and our son is dying from a broken heart. Can you stop making everything about you for once? I will not leave it alone. Abigail cannot marry my son. That would be over my dead body. Die then. So that we can all have some peace. Sir, you need to come to the Savannah's hospital fast. That is the one where Sister Chantel works. The baby needs blood. The doctor said that the donors and my blood type are not matches. The baby has a rare blood type of B negative, and I believe that is your blood type. I am sorry, I tried so hard to conceal the child's identity, but I cannot anymore. We both lost a lot of blood during delivery. He is my son, and I do not want him to die. What did I just hear? So you are the father of Beauty's child? Yes. And my blood type is a B negative. When? How? All this was happening under my nose. A girl I helped? I am going there to confront her. Please, whatever you do, allow me to save the boy's life. You will pay dearly for this. I am so sorry for everything that I and my mother have put you through. I had no right to judge you when I was not even perfect. I believe that this is all in God's plan. That is to show us the importance of forgiveness and to avoid being judgmental towards others. Do you remember what happened in John 8 verse 7 when the Pharisees brought the woman who was accused of adultery? What did God say to them? Let him who is without sin among you, cast the first stone at her. Good, and in the end, they had to leave, because they were all sinful. It is the same thing for all of us. Let us be careful with how we go about castigating other people. Even as your pastor, I am not without sin, but I pray constantly, I seek God's face daily, so that He can guide me along the right path. The world is so full of temptation, and you never know when it will be your turn. Thank you pastor. Abigail. Our results have come back and we are both safe. And we now know everything about each other. Please allow us to go on with our wedding. I am not so sure anymore. I think I need time. You treated me badly after your mother told you everything about me. You had no compassion for me, or my struggles. You just dropped me. I thought you would have protected me, and then to know that you also had a past. There is a lot of pain on my inside, so I need more time. Pastor please help me talk to her. Give her time as is. It has been a difficult time for everyone. We need to rush to the hospital as is. Your parents are there. Allow us to say a quick prayer before we leave. Calm down Chantel. You cannot go in there to pick a fight with beauty. 
Besides, she is not alone, a man is here with her. And you need to comport yourself like a Christian and a professional. Yes, the child belongs to your husband, but have you told him the truth about Isaiah's? You and I know that Isaiah's is not his son. I know because the timing was off when you delivered that boy. I am your friend, but I will not lie to you. So you are no saint either. Your husband has got in to do his duty as a father to the baby. And you need to calm down and allow us to settle things amicably. It was just one time, Cynthia. It was a moment of weakness while Joel traveled. The man in question didn't get to meet him, because I heard he died in an accident. Lucky for me, Joel came a week after. I made sure we slept together immediately, and several times too. That way, he would not suspect that I slept with another man. Sinful Secrets Chantel, we all have them. We will get through this. I will help you, and your pastor is on the way. Joel's wife is angry with me. What if she comes in here? I never meant for any of this to happen. Do not worry. I will not allow any harm to come to you. Beauty, when all this is over, I will marry you. I do not care if you are a widow, or you got pregnant for another woman's husband. Life happens, and how we get through each hurdle, is what counts. You are a good woman, both inside and out, and I believe that you will make me a happy man. Even with all my scars and secret sins? Yes. Scars and all. But let us get through this first. So the man that I have been living with for over 40 years, is not my father? No. Your real father died even before I knew for sure that I was pregnant. I didn't want to be exposed, so I gave the pregnancy to Joel. But why mom? Why didn't you tell the truth? I was afraid and ashamed. And even with that secret, you treated Abigail with so much scorn. The same girl you assisted to pick up the pieces of her life? Yes. I was overly self-righteous and unforgiving, and I am sorry. No wonder I was so wayward and loose in my university days. The sins of my mother haunted me, and I couldn't understand what was happening to me. But thank God, he is not like man. God is merciful and we should not take his goodness for granted. I know and I am sorry. I am ready to make amends. Please take Abigail home. She hasn't agreed to marry me yet. After how we treated her, she said she needed more time. I understand, but I will beg her for you. By the way, where is Dad? He left. He has been away for five days now. We need to find him and make peace. He is my father, the only father that I know, and it would kill me if anything should happen to him. Brother Joel, I came to see you. No one has seen or heard from you but I figured you would be here. You have locked yourself away for several days, but I had to find a way in. Pastor, you have no idea. After 43 years, the boy that I believed was mine, is not my son. And my real son is less than a month old. Look at how my wife treated me, knowing that she has been carrying that secret for so long. She had no mercy for anyone and she drove Abigail away. How can I forgive such a woman? You can forgive her because you have also sinned. In all this fiasco, there is no perfect person. Each of you had some secret sins. But thankfully, they are in the open, and the healing process can start. The young man Bobby has proposed to Beauty, and she has decided to give the baby over to you and your family. That is if Chantal will accept him. She has already. Bobby accompanied Beauty with the baby to see your wife, and they had a long conversation. I was in the midst of that meeting, and I was able to witness the move of God. Your wife was so repentant and humble. Beauty apologized for her actions, and explained that you were not entirely to be blamed. They have forgiven each other. And now it is your turn. 
You mean my wife Chantal has accepted the baby? Yes. Let me take you home. We need to fit all the pieces together, so that your son and Abigail can get married. So Isaias knows the truth about everything? Yes. Your wife told him. It is time for healing and restoration brother Joel, and your family needs you. Okay. Please come home. You came home. Where is Pastor? He had to meet up with Isaiah's and Abigail, and then he has evening service. Welcome home my husband. I have ran your bath, prepared your favorite meal, and your son is inside. Really, thank you. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of Isaiah's and Abigail in holy matrimony. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this wonderful occasion, as we join Isaiah's and Abigail together as man and wife. We thank you Lord, that peace has been restored in this family, and now we can celebrate. Father there is no family, marriage or union without trials, and today we place them all before you. We plead for mercy Father. We pray for a successful and harmonious union, one that will bear much fruit, and that they will be a model Christian couple for the world to emulate. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now it is time for Mr. and Mrs. to exchange their vows. Isaiah and Abigail happily got married. Chantal, with Cynthia's help, took over the running of her family, like a Christian mother should. Bobby and Beauty also got married and they have decided to remain in touch with the family. In all, peace and healing was restored to everyone. And the lies, secrets, and sins were exposed. <laughs>